But uh, so now we're just gonna show you the final look, and we've got hairstylist Reese Walker doing that hair today, and Reese is based in LA also. And so, Reese, do you want to talk us through how you? Yeah, I basically look? just um, blow Nat's hair out with a loose bend and then let it set and now I'm just going to go over in some pieces and do a little bit of a flat iron wave. We don't want it too big but... What tool wanna... are you using? Um, the Harry Josh hair straightener. It's my favourite. What's your technique there, Reese? Well, this one, I'll show you. It's different to like a normal flat iron wave where you kind of ribbon it through the straightener. You get your section mm -hmm. and essentially what you're doing is you're pushing your hair up and through to create an S bend and lightly tapping as you go down. Oh. And then you can see, and then I like to keep the ends fairly smooth. I don't like the ends too curly. And it just gives you like a cool wave, you know, nothing too done, not too structured. You can really bend the hair however you want. Just have to learn the little tricks. I think this would be quite easy to do yourself at yeah, home. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of girls they try to they try to get those ringlet curls. <laughs> I couldn't. I They're never my favorite. This is and short. This is great for short hair. Yeah. To get a bend and a movement without putting too much body in the hair. And it looks like a technique I could actually do. Oh, you totally could do this. You know, I'm 34 and I've like never really done my hair myself, like consistently. If I try to blow dry, look, I've maybe tried to blow dry my hair five times <laughs> in my life and I always give up because it's so, always so long and But thick. your hair looks so, like, good. you're lucky that you have really good natural hair. Like, yeah, I just like how it dries. Yeah. yeah, but then you're always just like, you're rocking that one look. And now yeah. I'm like, I'm 35, I'm bored. I'll give you a I'm few lessons. <laughs> So I need to add some add some technique to the repertoire. This is this is gonna be a goodie. I'll give you a few lessons. Yeah, I need to learn on this. It'd be fun. Do you know I bought what a hair you... straightener a week ago, Reese? You did. I haven't brought it up, bought it out of the box in a week. <laughs> but um, you know it's gonna sit. Gonna on the time. Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll take over the YouTube. It's really funny. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna be Wait the for it. Oh my yeah. god. It's really funny watching people try to do um, their hair for the first time, like when they're learning. It's so <gasps> uncut because it looks easy. Have you seen but then to go with the, oh, it? Oh, yeah, we did that, and it was really <laughs> funny. So, Reese, once you've finished uh, doing the S bends, mm. how are you going to. I'm going to spray a little product? bit of texture spray. I think the one I'm loving at the moment is the Sasha Juan. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's got a. It's not too sticky and you can still move the hair afterwards. And then I'm just going to break it up with my hands, shake it around and let it take its natural course, really. Beautiful. I love this hair on you. So the spray goes after the... Yeah, once your hair's dry, it's a dry yeah. texture spray. So you do... I did a little bit of sea salt in your hair before, before. I blew it out. Okay. And it's good for body. It's great for body and for that really kind of soft, slippery hair to give it a bit of grit. Fitzy is looking at you very intrigued. Maybe he was a hairdresser in a, in a past oh. life. Look I think it was because I was cuddling him earlier. Toby said he doesn't like to be touched, so I thought I'd... He's not the affectionate one, Nacho is, but when he does get affectionate, it's oh, like special. Oh, he looks super special. affectionate. He's having cuddles. You want him over. You know what? He's really missing the masculine. <laughs> like... You're not getting it from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't downplay your masculinity. Oh. <laughs> So funny. He can, it's like I'm the masked one in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Tony has got more <laughs> masculinity than me. Oh, oh that's personal so joke. Funny. <laughs> that's your joke. No, uh, Reese, I think you're downplaying actually how yeah. masculine you are. Look, oh, it's just smelling it's your beard and your musk. Uh, oh. You're a man. You're sexy oh, man. You're giving me uh -huh. such a big ego. You are a very handsome man. Oh, and Fitz has just been in the house with two women for two weeks. I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> He's over finally. It. <laughs> <laughs> look in the mirror from there. Looks so good. Oh. I love how simple that is. Okay, this technique. Yeah, because you get, I like hair to be a little bit like wider, not so like high on high, top. Yeah. Um, but without also getting like an old lady curl. You just show around that perfect. product too, Ooh. so we know what it is. The volume powder. It comes in dark as well, okay. um, but I'm really messy with that, so. <laughs> 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 it's 
I spray it all over their makeup. <laughs> it doesn't work out for me, so I just use the clear one. Let's get into the mirror for me for a second. Is this a flip moment? You don't need me to flip. No, I need you to flip unless you want to go a little bit no. wild. Is the flip like, am I just stuck in the... <laughs> no, no, I, I, still flip, I still flip people, but I just think for this, we're going to keep it. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong. I've been painting my brows one colour. <laughs> Black brows funny. and a hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, there she is. There she is. I'm just going to brush her. I'll take that. Brush your brows a little bit. Thank you guys. Amazing. Thanks for <laughs>